And now everyone give a warm welcome to the finest musical group in the Alpha Quadrant, the Nebula Girls. So Commander Spock, are you going to visit your relatives here on Earth? I will consider it Captain, though I believe it to be an inefficient use of my time. Not everything is about efficiency Commander. We humans find too much efficiency to be inefficient. Illogical Captain. Still I do have a certain desire to meet with them. I do not understand that. That is your human side showing through. I have some hope for you. They are here. Fight them. Arm yourselves. Here they come. Get him up to sickbay. Full examination and isolation. He has two completely different infections. One is a modified bacterium that was identified in the 21st century to cause a type of dermatitis called Morgian's disease. The other is a genetically modified virus called the smallpox virus. Make a report out to Starfleet Medical. I already have. They said that this is not an isolated incident. There have been more than a few of these cases. Captain Campbell, urgent. The Earth is now under quarantine. So is the Essex. We are not to break orbit without authorization. Some days it just does not pay to get out of bed. Why didn't they tell us to stay away? Thank you for having me Captain. This is an odd combination of two different diseases as you know. Together they cause intense itching, strange threads in the skin, psychosis, brain hemorrhage, some violent behavior and death. Do we have a treatment yet? We are working on it, a cocktail of antibiotic drugs and antiviral drugs. If this had gotten loose in their time it could have devastated the earth. There is another, apparently unrelated problem. We believe there is an alien creature loose. There have been deaths, people with their body juices suck dry. With our sensors they should be easy to find. Planetary sensors have picked up only intermittent signals from them. We don't have enough information to calibrate our instruments. Captain Campbell, we have a distress call from a civilian vessel near the Oort Cloud. Set a course to intercept. I will take the heat for ordering you there.
Approaching the spacecraft. It appears to be drifting. Com officer, order the boarding party that is on standby to board the ship when we are in transporter range.
What is that thing? I have never seen anything like it. I don't know. Let's get it to the ship. Report on the boarding action. How many dead? What is the creature that we found? Any diseased persons? You first John. The creature is unlike anything we have seen before. I believe it to be more adapted to an extremely hot climate. It radiates its own magnetic fields, and that is throwing off our senses. How it got on board, I don't know. I have reviewed the flight logs and they landed on Venus. That planet is the logical choice. Well doctor your report please. Including one man who apparently attacked one of the creatures, four dead. There are additional cases of infection. We have them isolated. Our people have all checked out okay. I got a detailed message from Starfleet Medical about the plague. Here is the report. The bacteria act as repositories for viral material, and transfer the material to what we call a mother bacteria, which assembles it into a complete virus. The virus then travels to the brain and other vital organs, eventually killing the victim. While horizontal gene transfer is a natural process, Starfleet is adamant that these bugs have been engineered, using this method to evade antiviral drugs. The bacteria have likewise been designed to be resistant to known drugs. It's bad, Captain. A cure has not been found. I am confused. I wouldn't think that the 21st century would have that level of sophistication. They didn't, Captain. This was created recently. Spark? We got a message about an ancient computing device found in a room uncovered by an earthquake. It turns out the entire lab was designed to appear being ancient. That was in case it was found. Someone was working on a bioweapon of great power. We will tow their ship back with us and let Starfleet deal with it. Captain's log upon returning to the Earth, we have been told that the quarantine has been lifted. Starfleet Medical worked out the right combination of broad spectrum antibiotics and antiviral drugs, and they have brought the epidemic under control. One troubling question remains. Who designed the plague to start with? We don't know, and we'll continue to look. In the meantime, the quarantine deprived the Nebula girls of their transportation. We have been authorized to give them a lift to their next destination, in return for a free concert of course. Though he would deny it, Spock remains stone-faced while the crew smiles, until no one is looking that is. How did the test on the Earth humans work out? They found the lab before we were ready. The disease spread quickly, but the humans were able to cure it. Maybe we should just release plague out in the open on their planet instead of trying to trick them. It did not fool them for long anyway. We are considering it for our next encounter. <laughs> 